Good morning everyone and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I am saying goodbye to my bedroom in Maryland and we are headed out to see to drop my dad's parents off at the airport and then to continue on our way to my mom's mom. So um, one side of grandparents to the next. This is what we usually do um, every Christmas the day after we make the trek up to New York. So this is what I'm wearing for my travel fit. Just my usual express um, set. I'm wearing the camo one today because all I really brought home is the camo one. This black jacket from Shein that I'll obviously take off as soon as I get in the car. And I didn't want to bring any extra shoes with me so I'm just wearing these like sneaker booty-ish shoes from White Mountain that I just like wanted to bring to New York but I'm just wearing them with this set. So that's that. My room is not super clean but goodbye. First stop of the day is the airport. Hello, Madison. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are en route to New York. We have about an hour and 15 minutes left. We just stopped for the first time. We usually stop at one rest stop and we let Abby go to the bathroom and stuff. So she just went. I've been working up a storm this morning. Um, I edited my Vlogmas from yesterday. And I, I'll actually just show you my to-do list. Um, I made a list of blog posts that I want to get up before the end of the year. And just like kind of like my plan for the next um, two weeks. So, and then I made like a to-do list of things I need to do today. So, I edited my Vlogmas. I wrote my Romwe post. I just edited those photos. And I wrote my top 19 outfits of 2019. Um, I do have to make my Vlogmas thumbnail. Choose some Romwe items and post my Instagram photo um, in the next hour. So I'll be working on those few things. Um, and when I am in the car, I do write all my posts in my notes because my computer has a habit of um, crashing. And whenever I write in Word, something always goes wrong and I like don't save my post like every five minutes so I end up losing work. So I've just started writing all my things in notes because it automatically saves. So that's where I wrote those few posts, but I'm about to knock this stuff out and then hopefully we will be there soon. Hey guys, it is about six o'clock now. We have been visiting for hours. Um, we opened gifts and stuff, I'll show you later, but I have Lena with me now, say hi. Stop. Say hi, wave your hand. <laughs> Introduce yourself, what's your name? Lena. Lena, how old are you? Four. And what's my name? Kenzie. And Lena is my second cousin, so my cousin Jessica, this is her daughter. And we've been playing with Lena all day. We just watched Frozen. She did her makeup, right? Do you look so pretty? Come show us what we're having for dinner. Take us downstairs. <laughs> Lena's gonna take us through the vlog and she's gonna share what we're having for dinner. Okay, come show us what we're having, Lena. What are we having? Pizza. pizza? What kind do you like? Cheese or pepperoni? Like, I like cheese. I like pepperoni. Mm. Good morning, everyone. I am not, this is gonna be two days in one vlog because yesterday I only got like a few minutes of footage because everyone was visiting because we had just seen each other. Um, so. My uncle and my cousin came over and we ate and then I started watching the new season of You. I watched two episodes last night, two episodes of You last night. We, me and dad watched, mom. Um, so we did that. Now it's next morning. Lena, say hello. Can you wave? Say hi vlog. What are we doing today? Talk to them. Are we going to the movies? <laughs> She's frozen in a duck face. We're going to see Frozen. We're going to see, Fro frozen. We're going to see Frozen 2 this morning because Lena wants to go. So Mom and I are, t well, and Madison are, to say we're babysitting. are going. We're babysitting because her brother's in the hospital. So we're on babysitting duty. Grammy, say hello. You haven't been on yet. Hello, everybody. Now introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Grammy Graham. So. And you're, this is my mom's mom. <laughs> and what are you doing right now? I am making some cantaloupe. Cutting it up, but I heard you girls don't like it all. You but find Lena it, loves it. You cantaloupe. rediscover this fact yeah. about me every year, but oh, yeah. Lena loves it, right? <laughs> yeah. It's it's a yeah, what is it? <laughs> you gonna get popcorn? Yeah. Lena. Go 
guys, would you believe that Frozen 2 is sold out at 9.40 in the morning? Gotta on, a, on a Friday, we are speeding to the next movie theater for a 10-10 movie, where we will have to pay double the price, and we're hoping it's not out. Right, Lena? Right. It's sold out again, guys. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. Don't worry, everyone. We're gonna go back to the first theater to see yeah. Frozen 2. <laughs> At 12.30, we're gonna go see it. Um, but now we're gonna have to shop around or do something with this crazy little munchkin to kill time. Okay, we've got Lena and we are doing some Christmas shopping in Target, the post-Christmas sales. Lena, what did you find? She found this outfit. Mom said she'll only get it for her if she wears it for the vlog. All right, we are in TJ Maxx now and Madison is swatching a product on Lena. Um, they have so much good makeup here after the holidays like I would have loved to I have like two gift cards to Sephora and Ulta so I'm not gonna justify getting anything but like the Too Faced Soleil bronzer for five dollars is such a great deal and then the Buxom Vava plumps I've been dying to try one of these so that's another really good deal for six dollars here um, they have great kiss lashes these are the lashes i wore on christmas and they always have so many good ardell ones here but this is the set that i got for christmas with the well this is this has two less pairs but this is such a great deal for 25 dollars that brings each pair to like three dollars i think which is awesome because they're really really pricey individually so they have those here and they have the Anastasia Contour Kit, they really only ever have the cream in store lately in TJ Maxx. I use the powder contour kit every single day and I got mine, my second one from TJ Maxx. So always keep your eye out for that. But these Anastasia liquid lipsticks, they always have some here and these are literally the jackpot of Anastasia. Um, I have one of them and I love them. I think they're $7. But I really recommend these. I think they're so good. There was a horse with a man on it, and we thought she was lying. And there comes the horse. Here's my star of the vlog. Hi, everyone. Are you so excited? So excited. Okay. We're third, third time's the charm. We're going to the movies. We finally made it, everybody. I will admit, if you're gonna see a kids movie, Frozen 2 isn't that bad. It's actually, you know, it's one of the better princessy kid movies you um, you should go see. So now we are headed home, and Lena is eating a, a unicorn popsicle show, or a lollipop. Let me see. A kitty's a kitty unicorn. A kitty unicorn is it yummy? Yeah, it looks it on your face. I've got <laughs> mom and Grammy with me, and we are in town trying to get to the bridge so that I can shoot the photos in my white mountain shoes. I have this brown pair and then this gray pair to shoot, so. Hopefully the sun will maybe try and come out. It's not looking so good though. Two minutes. What are we having for dinner, Lena? Um, why is Tacos. Are you excited? Oh. Lena has been making me play hide and go seek for like three hours straight. And I did that and I got my blog post up. So it's my top 19 outfits of 2019. Go check it out. It's pretty good. Um, who put one? Hide and seek? Me. A billion times over. Because Lena is not good. Lena is not good at hide and seek. She only has one hiding spot, right? Show them your new outfit. This is the outfit. She bought oh, look at the a while later, and I'm upstairs. I'm finally gonna show you what my grandma got me for Christmas. We ate tacos for dinner. I just watched a couple episodes of You. We played with my little cousin for like hours. So now I'm finally upstairs. It's like 10:30, um, and I figured I'd show you guys this stuff before I shower and head to bed. Um, we're really only here a full day tomorrow, and then we head home the next day. So. I think I'm actually going to continue this vlog mostly because I really don't want to edit it and get it up tomorrow and I feel guilty like ending it and then not getting it up I guess so I think I'm just going to keep this one going but anywho here's what I got from my grandma 
The first thing I got was like a little surprise gift and it was this tank top from Lulu. I only own one Lululemon tank top so I was actually really excited to get something from them. It's just this like teal blue racer back and it's got like the cutest little scalloped detail. So that's super cute. I also got a white sports bra from Old Navy. The back just crosses like this. This does not have padding in it, so I am going to try it on just to make sure it's not see-through. Um, but I really wanted a new white sports bra. I only have one, and it's the Buff Bunny one, and it's high neck, and I wanted something a little different. So I grabbed that, and then um, I, like, I gave her these gift ideas. So, And then I got this set which is a navy longer sports bra and i really wish i had this sports bra in like every single color because i love longer cropped sports bras the back has just like a little light pink um stripe on it and then the leggings look like this they're just a black high rise 7 8 length and they've got um like a little mesh along the bottom these look really tiny so i think i'm actually going to try these on just to make sure i got an extra small on the bottoms and a small in the top because that's what I usually wear in Old Navy, but oof, college pounds and holidays might be might be getting on, so I don't know. I'll try these on, but yeah, I think I'm just going to end the vlog off here Good tonight. morning, fellas. This morning, I am showing you my breakfast. So, I'm eating a bagel sandwich that won't really stay together and it keeps falling. Um, this is, I don't know what kind of bagel looks maybe like Asiago and I've got um what's that kind of cheese called gouda and bacon on it with ranch and then I'm eating it some oranges so that's breakfast sister Madison is here just eating bacon and Abby is right next to me begging at the table we are in home goods um, we are just out shopping today. I just went to Ulta and unfortunately spent nine dollars over my gift card which stinks. I swear to God, after today, this is my last day spending money of the year. I know it's just $9 and I just got money for Christmas, you know, from specific aunts and uncles, but I'm just, I'm overspending money. Anyways, I got so much good makeup. Like I got a lot of stuff because I had a $50 gift card from Mr. Mannion. Well, all of Mannions in general. Um, I'll show you guys what I got when I got back. Now we are in Home Goods and I'm pushing this little imp around. Um, and mom is getting a wreath because the one that she made for Grammy broke because it fell off the door. Mira is our next stop of the day. The makeup haul will be coming later, everybody. All right, I got the Chipotle bacon cheese avocado sandwich. Madison got a bread bowl. Oh, honey, we don't know who's been putting there. They got more bowls. Stuff on the table. We all now in the food court, and I just went to Sephora and I got. I spent my gift card. I got some good stuff there that I'll show you later. Um, we're in the food court, so everyone's looking at me naturally. And we have brought Lena because she really wants to go on the carousel. So we have to wait, and then we will get our turn on the carousel. One dollar. You should join us. I got gypped out of the horse that moves. They have moving horses. Are you excited, Lena? mom and I had tried to take photos they just did not turn out because it was too dark um so Madison and I headed out today and she just helped me take some pictures right along the canal and actually on the bridge and they turned out so good um like literally like laying on one of the what are these things called Madison you're an engineering major a it's truss? like yes a truss um laying on some of those to photograph these shoes and really have them as the focal point of it and then we got some water in the background grammy drove us while lena napped um so you know killed a bunch of birds with a bunch of different stones which is awesome and now we are going to head back home and i will show you what makeup i got when we get back. i want to show you guys what i got from sephora and ulta today i don't really get um I don't like go out and buy makeup very often if I run out of like one of my holy grails I'll go and pick up like oh a new one like I'll replenish the supply you know 
but it's very rare that I go and just like try out new makeup. The only time I ever try out a new product is if I have a gift card for it. If I'm spending my own money, I usually just stick to a foundation or concealer I've already used. Also, my hair looks so dark in here. Anyways, um, so I want to show what I got because I had a gift card to both places. The only thing I did pick up was this e.l.f. Br um, brush set. This has 12 brushes in it and I really needed a couple of new brushes. The handles have been breaking on some of my old ones. And I love e.l.f. brushes. I have a bunch now. So this just came with 10 of them. And whoa, I really, there's a kabuki brush. I've never had a kabuki brush, but this was like 50% off. So um, it ended up being $10, which is great. It came with a kabuki brush, um, a contouring kabuki brush, a powder brush, an eyebrow duo brush, sculpting face brush, blending brush, small stipple brush, highlighting brush, concealer brush, um, eyebrow C brush, whatever that is, um, and then a spoolie. So I got that and then I went to, let's start off with Sephora because I didn't get as much. So at Sephora, I only got three things and it was because I pretty much knew I wanted to get this set, which is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and lip gloss set. This has five products in it and I have a liquid lip from Anastasia that I really like and I got it from TJ Maxx last Christmas and I fell in love with it. It's a really comfortable liquid lip and I love the way they look for photos and like going out and stuff because they last forever. So this set just has three of those and then it came with two really cute lip glosses. I prefer lip gloss. Honestly, like I'm a big lip gloss girl, but for the purpose of like shooting photos and going out, a liquid lip is like a lipstick that will last obviously longer on me. So I do prefer to wear one of those. Um, I then got the Violet Voss Berry Burst Palette. The last time I got a gift card to Sephora, I bought um, Violet Voss's Creme Brulee Palette, which is like a little mini palette, and I love it. It's one of my favorite high-end eyeshadows, and it's super, super buttery and creamy, which is so awesome, and it's all like orangey, really warm shades, but, and last Christmas, I was toying between the Creme Brulee and the Berry Burst Palette, and I ended up getting the Creme Brulee, like I said. So this time I picked up Berry Burst. I literally cannot get this open to save my life right now. Now that I've literally destroyed the packaging, finally got this open. Um, this is what the palette looks like. It's so beautiful. What I really love about this is it's got the pinky shades on top, but there's a really nice like everyday selection um, on this row. And I typically wear orangish eyeshadow when I do wear eyeshadow. Um, especially just a matte color in my crease. So I thought this would be really pretty. I, l I don't wear like eyeshadow every day anymore, but in February, I pretty much wear eyeshadow every day just because I love to wear pink eyeshadow. Next thing I got was the Becca Prime Set and Glow Set. This comes with a powder, one of her highlighters, and the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh, which is a primer. I've had this primer before and I really like it. I also really like the sparkly one that comes in like a there's like a two pack of them that they used to sell the purple bottle and the light light like champagne bottle and i just like it um but i really wanted to try out the refresh powder because it looks like it's a powder you could bake with and i've never baked before and i want to try baking my under eyes and then i wanted to try out this highlighter because everyone raves about it it's just the becca um champagne pop highlighter so that's what i grabbed from sephora the lip set was 40 dollars for um five of those which was a great deal for what it was but that took up like a good chunk of my gift card but then i went to ulta and i got some good stuff from there as well the first thing i got were two hydrating gentle cleansers from la roche Posse, whatever that is um the lady at the checkout just gave me these face washes like for free she added them okay so then l'oreal was having buy two get one free and tati i watched so many tati vi videos to see like what i should try at the drugstore because i really really trust her i think she's super honest and everything that she likes and recommends i end up loving so I have used the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation many, many times before. I think it's a great foundation, but I will say um, the shade range is very, very 
minimal like they don't not they do not have a very good um shade range but when they introduced the pro glow which is like the dewy version of the foundation they came out with a lot more shades and l'oreal was by to get one free so i wanted to try this foundation since i love the other version so much so i got this one in a little bit of a darker shade for when i self tan this is the shade 209 caramel beige and then in the infallible um foundation the one with the pump which is what tati recommended i got just my everyday shade this has spf 25 in it which is really high for a foundation and i got this in the shade i don't know golden beige golden beige okay so i got those foundations and then as my free item i got the l'oreal duo she also recommended to try the lash paradise i needed a new mascara what i love about this set is it comes with the base and then the actual um, mascara and i've been wanting to try like a mascara primer to see if it works see if it really does anything and i was only gonna buy the primer and then i found this two pack at the checkout and i was like oh my god this is actually a way better deal and then i can try out both so super excited about this it says it will thicken your eyelashes so i'm praying it does that then i tried out i'm trying out the elf 16 hour camo concealer i do not really use a ton of elf products but tati recommended this and she said that it was really similar to shape tape for a um like blemish concealer and since my skin has like not been so great at school i figured i would give this a go so i picked that up speaking of elf i did get a primer from them because i was actually gifted this as part of my sorority basket for one of the big little reveal days and i loved this primer like i've been using it and it makes my foundation just lay really really smoothly over top so i really like this it's the elf poreless face primer this is ten dollars which is kind of pricey for elf but i really like it better than any other drugstore primer i've been using recently aside from the nivea men's shave balm that used to be my holy grail like my freshman sophomore year of high school i haven't used it since then um but that's not actually like a primer you know that's like shave balm so i'm giving the elf full size a try then i got the wet and wild dual ended contour stick i am a tried and true um powder contour kind of girl like i love powder contour but tati recommended this and it, what she says i do so i wanted to give this a try i thought that it would cream contour like sh the way that it just like looked on her skin was so gorgeous that i had to pick this up it's double sided this shade is the shade that you obviously contour with and it seems like it would be just fun. I don't know. She looked so good in it. It just looked very effortless having the cream. So I'm going to give this a go. And I will report back to you guys what I think. And then the last three things I got were from Essence. She recommended these um, self-contouring lip liners. I believe I had one of these back in the day. But I don't remember anymore. I'm not a big lip liner person usually. But my lips like are I have really small lips. So I was like, you know what, when I wear a, like a liquid lipstick, I think it would be so nice to line my lips first. And Essence was buy two, get one free. So I got two of the shades. I got Peachy Keen and then Big Proposal. So one nude and then one like mauve pink. So I got that. And then as my third item, I got their Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss. Just a really cute light pink lip. I have so many new... Um, lip glosses now so my lip gloss will be popping when I get back to school but really I just wanted to try a pumping lip gloss I tried the Too Faced lip injections today at um Sephora and your lips like tingle big time like that thing you can feel it working but I wasn't gonna justify $15 for a tube like this little and I picked this up beforehand just to see if it would work it was like a this was like three dollars or something so Either way, even if it doesn't work, I really like the like natural lip gloss to just like pop on over a chapstick or something. So that's everything I got. I'm super excited to go and try all this. There's pretty much, aside from brows, I can do a full face of makeup with new makeup. I might do like a little get ready with me in one of the these days of Vlogmas. So stay tuned and you might see that. But that's going to be all and I'm going to go about my... Madison and Lena cooked us a pazooki. Dive it. That's not the Suzuki, that's the cookie. Everyone ran. We are vlogging because mom told me that she wants me to vlog. We're going on a spontaneous trip 
to Target because I told Madison that my stomach really hurt because I haven't had gummy bears in a few days and I'm having withdrawals from sugar. So she's driving me to get something if I'm nice. All hail Target. Okay, one of my favorite bloggers, Brighton Keller, always talks about Yasso bars. So I'm finally trying one. It's Peppermint Crunch. And it's because it's from my mom because she's the best mom ever. This is what it looks like. Dad, it's good, but it's healthy for you. <laughs> Madison, tell them what you got. Tell them tiny. Bye, Grammy. We're on the road again. Oh, hi, guys. It is a long while later. We finally made it home, and man, does it feel good to be back. Um, we made really good time. We got in around 4.30, and I literally unpacked my bags right away, and I had a couple of packages. I had one from Sheikwish and one from Shein. I unboxed those, and then we went right to dinner. Um, my parents and I, we went to Hornet's Nest in town, and I ate a buffalo chicken rice bowl. It was really good, but remind me next time not to get lettuce, because I hate lettuce in anything, aside from salad, um, <laughs> but... We came back and I literally just hopped right in the shower. I felt so disgusting because I didn't wash my hair once while we were away. So I washed my hair, scrubbed off all the tan on my face. And then when I got out, I put on those like little scar patches again that I was wearing on Christmas night. Um, I got these in my stocking and they're like infused with witch hazel and they're supposed to help your scars. Um, I noticed that some of them, my scarring was like completely gone the next day and then, but it does say if you're scarring, the other scarring um, that was still there was significantly like reduced. It wasn't as dark and they were a little bit smaller so they really did help but you're supposed to continue to use them until obviously your scarring goes away. So I put them back on and I'm wearing them tonight. I do have one like right above my lip. My upper lip scars so easily, which stinks, but um, I'm hoping that this does the trick. I want to put some on my chin, but it says not to put them on if you like have like active breakouts. So I have to wait until these go away and then I'll put those on if they leave a scar. My skin just scars so easily. And, um, has super bad redness, which is half the reason why I wear makeup. But anyways, okay, besides the point, I put these on and then I actually did my nails and my toes. Um, I got this nail polish from OPI for Christmas and it's super, super nude. It's not my favorite color, but I actually really like the way that the polish applied and I used to not be a big OPI fan and they look really good. So I did my nails and my toes. Um which felt good. You know, I've been trying to keep nail polish on my nails because I used to be a nail biter and then when I went to college, I stopped biting them and I really don't want to get back in that habit. So keeping nail polish on helps me. Um, and yes, I have really long fingers, I know. Um, so anyways, I did that and then I just uploaded my weekly wrap up. I cannot believe it was my last weekly wrap up of the year. That is insane to me. Um, the fact that this year is coming to a close is just like mind boggling to me. Um, and I would love to sit down and like do a video all about like my goals and stuff. I'll obviously do a blog post about it, but I don't know, because my YouTube platform has just changed and grown so much this year, I feel like it would be really cool to just sit down and chat with you guys, um, especially because I know a lot of people who watch me either go to Kent or they are going to be going to Kent, like they're seniors right now and they'll be freshmen next year. So I don't know, I just think it would be fun to do something about I don't know. Something New Year's related. I always do a lot of that kind of stuff over on my blog. If you guys like are new and you don't know that I have a blog, that's like my predominant platform. I'll be celebrating four years on January 1st, which is another reason why I really can't wrap my head around the fact that 2019 is over because that means my blog is four years old, which means I am seasoned at this and yet there's still so much I have to learn. But anyways, so I uploaded that weekly wrap up and now I'm going to edit this vlog. I edited most of it in the car. All I have to do is like edit and insert this clip and then upload that video. I'm going to do that tonight and I've been watching you. I'm finally on like episode seven and it's finally getting good. I felt like it's been so slow so far. Um, 
but this episode has been really good. In the car, I was so productive. I got um, my weekly wrap-up written, and then I edited this video, like I said, all but like this two-minute clip, and then I um, wrote my best of 2019 post which is kind of just when I go through and wrap up my year. I don't really share what products like were the best of 2019. That is what I kind of want to do too on this channel. But um, I just kind of talk about like what's gone on. I can't believe I graduated high school at the beginning of this year or in the middle of this year. Like I was in high school for a whole six months, not six months, but like five months of this year. That's so crazy to think. Um, but I wrote that post and then I also wrote my December favorites and then I edited the photos for my best of 2019 post. I edited the photos for my weekly wrap up and I edited all the style by the Ken's turns four photos that will go up in my anniversary post on January 1st, which tends to be like one of my favorite posts of the year. So I was super productive in the car. I got a lot done. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to watch TV, get my Instagram picture up, and wind down, and probably head to bed early because I am tired and I feel like I just need to sleep after being go, go, go the last few days. I am going to end the vlog off here. I do not think that I will be vlogging the next two days. Um, I'm babysitting on New Year's Eve, so... I don't have a whole lot going on. I might vlog. I'm not 100% sure yet, but you will most likely be seeing me in 2020. Hope that's cool with you guys. Um, but thank you so much for following me along on this journey and for being a part um, of Style by McKenz. It means the best. It means all the world. Um, so yeah, thank you. And also excuse the fact that I literally look like this. Okay, bye guys. Mm -hmm.